a very big welcome to everyone who clicked on this video. Thank you so much for clicking on the video in the first place. Dragon's Dogma 2 is only days away, only 11 days now, releasing March 22nd, 2024. Um, and we're going to be creating our Arisen and Main Pawn. I already created one Arisen, but I want to create a different one. So that's what we're going to be doing this video. And I'll also be explaining how to win a free copy of the game once it releases. Uh, since I'm going to be giving one away. So let's dive into the video. We're going to start with the Arisen. And as you can see, I already have one. But I want to create a different one. We're going to go for a guy this time. Let me see. Should we do a Beastrin? Let's just do a Beastrin. Let's just do it. Nah. No, we're not. No. <laughs> I just... I just can't. I don't know why, but I just don't want to do it. And I'm... I'm not sure if I want to create something cool or something kind of goofy. Um, but I think I'm going to go for cool. This guy just looks really majestic. Oh, wow. You can make like an old mage. That would be kind of cool, actually. But I don't want my character to be too old. Because, nah, that's... I don't know. I don't know. I could try and create myself, but... I don't know if I want to be looking at myself... For so long. I mean, I'm still kind of drawn to this preset. Although I feel like he's too clean looking. And when you're in the world of Dragon's Dogma, you're not going to be this majestic, clean, perfect looking guy. You're just not. You're just not going to be looking perfect. But we're, we're going to try it anyway. Oh, that changes a lot already. Like, there's so many things that you can do to change a character. I feel like I'm going to kind of want to go for the long hair. Um, let's just start with the height. We can make him, like, really tall, but he's gonna be slow as hell. I'm gonna go for a solid 193. I do want him to be muscular, so we're gonna go for the heavily accented six-pack here, I guess. I'm kind of deciding on if I want to make, like, a warrior guy with a heavy sword or, like, a mage or an archer. Because I feel like if I'm making an archer or a mage, he shouldn't be too buff, but... I think th this creation should be uh, the warrior built this time. So we're going to go for a buff guy. Let's just do it. Oh, no, no, no. That's not buff. <laughs> I think it should move on with Otago equipment. Oh, there we go. Now that makes a lot more sense. I didn't even know about that. You can change the lighting as well. Oh, dang. I did not know this before when I created my uh, previous one. Let's just go for, like, a kind of shadowy vibe. And then... Ooh. Oh, yeah, I love this. But for the sake of the video, to make it, like, easier to look at, we're probably going to do this one. Or, the, yeah, this, nah, this one for the lighting. So now that I kind of have an idea what he would look like with armor on... I feel like I should change the face up a bit before I do anything else about his body. Okay, we're gonna stick with uh, this base head. Then I kind of want his skin to be a little darker. Like, I want him to be a bit tanned. Oh, no, wait, you can change it a whole lot more. Okay, there we go. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. I feel like something like this works really well. Or maybe even this. Or this, like an older guy, like kind of kind of seasoned warrior you know I'm, I'm gonna go for something in between i think this looks really good at the beginning of the video i mentioned that i was giving away a copy of dragon's dogma 2 to a random viewer and how we're gonna do this is pretty simple all you have to do is subscribe to the channel like this video and comment your favorite game moment that you ever had it doesn't matter if you're playing on xbox pc or ps5 we'll make it work i'll make sure you get the game the winner will be announced two days before Dragon's Dogma 2 releases, so that's March 20th. And for the time zone, it's 6 p.m. CET, or Central European Time. The way I'm gonna go about this is I'm gonna go to a random comment picker website, and then it picks a random user for me, and then I can check through that website if they actually subscribed and liked the video. So yeah, best of luck to all of you. Let's get back into uh, creating our character here. We need a good chin, but we don't need to be the crimson chin, you know? <laughs> uh, let's just let's just go for something like this. And then the chin sharpness. Oh, yeah, okay. That's probably it. Now his nose. 
I think his nose is pretty much perfect, right? Like, I kind of want to... I want him to be a bit bigger to make him more human-like, I guess. Something like this. Yeah, that's great. That's awesome. I can't even see his ears, but I do want them to be really pointy. Kind of an elven guy, right? Like, elven characters are usually, like, really light-skinned. But I kind of want to make a tanned elf, if that makes any sense. A tanned elf warrior. Let me see. Uh, hairstyles. Just changing that up so I can fix the ears real quick. Let's just stick with this for now. Then go back to the ears. There we go. There we go. All right. All right. Okay, now let's just pick a hairstyle that we actually like. I mean, I kind of want him to have long hair. I wouldn't be able to see his eyes. So that wouldn't really make a whole lot of sense. Like it wouldn't show... Ooh, the buzz cut. But it wouldn't make a lot of sense. Whoa, is this Dante from Devil May Cry? Or a Karen? This is kind of cool as well, but... It's not really a man bun, it's a kind of a small ponytail. Ooh, but this though. Yo. This is more like elven hair. But I don't want him to be like a typical elf, right? Like we, uh, like I explained earlier. Oh, this is kind of cool as well. Yep, we got it. We got it. That's it. I love this. Perfect. And then change the root color. Like I still want him to be sort of a traditional elf. So maybe like the really light hair. And the tip should be like black then I guess. Or the other way around. Like, we could make this black, and then we could make this, like, pretty much white. <sighs> Yo, I can't lie, that's pretty, pretty clean. Yep, that's it. That's it. I cannot lie, that's it. Ooh, adding that gloss to the hair right there. Do you see that gloss? Look at him. Ooh, taking care of his hair. All right. The realism in the faces in this game is absolutely mind-blowing. I love this. Facial hair. Do I want him to have a beard or like a bit uncut? Like I don't want a full beard, but I do want him to have some facial hair. I guess this works. Then I wanna want it to be a bit lighter so it matches his hair. Ooh, he's getting a little gray over there. Okay, that's perfect. I love that. I love that. Hey, yo, that's kind of cool, but I'm not going to do it. I want him to have like really bright and popping eyes. Okay, let's just build from this preset. Then make this kind of light yellowish, golden. And the iris should be maybe green. So like a... Neon-ish green. Ooh. Oh, yes. There we go. I don't want to change his teeth. Like, you can remove all of their teeth. But... Or just... <laughs> miss one tooth like that. Nah, we're not doing that. Burn scars. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's on his face as well. I feel like this is such a defined cut. It gives him a lot of character and depth. Like, I feel like this is a character that has a backstory, you know? Let's just do this. There's my guy. Yo, there's my guy. Okay. Let's put back on the armor. Pretty dang cool if I do say so myself. All right, I think we're done with our Arisen. Mm, damn, this choice is so hard. But your vocation can be changed in Dragon's Dogma 2, so it's not too big of a deal. Um, but I'm gonna go for the fighter this time. Yeah, that's it. Alright, finalize. Let's give him a name. I don't know why, but I feel like he's just a Dave. He's Dave. <laughs> Please tell me I can do Dave Dave. We now have Dave Dave. Alrighty, time for the pawn go with a woman this time. How funny would it be if my Arisen was just traveling with an old lady? Kind of an old lady witch. I, I, I kind of want to do that, you know? You know you know what, screw it, let's do it. <laughs> this is probably the most witch witch I have ever seen. 
But I kind of want her to look like a kind of lovable grandma at the same time as well, rather than just a straight up witch who's willing to take out your soul. I think this this will do. Yeah, we can, we can make a likable face out of this. All right, okay, so we're going to start with the face first this time. I mean, there we go, lovable granny face. Sort of, I guess. We could make like a really witchy nose and I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to do it. I mean, it sort of looks fine from the front, but then... <laughs> yup. She needs to have gray hair, though. <laughs> With her cheeks like this, she just looks like your typical grandma who wants to stuff cookies up your face. But she needs that witchy look as well, while being a lovable grandma. So we're gonna... I think this, this is about right. I do feel like she needs scars and some, like messed up markings like as she's kind of cursed and that's why she became a witch something like that yep that'll do that'll do maybe we can give the burn marks to her yeah yeah that's it that's really cool all right all right that's it that's it that's it this whew, this is probably my best creation so far i mean this this is Elspeth. <laughs> I, I don't know how to explain it otherwise, but this is just perfect. Like this is the she's gotten blind and got the curse markings because she wanted to become a witch in order to save her family. And she's blind, you know, but she can still see everything because she's a mage. Oh, whew. <laughs> this is great. All right, everyone, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and comment down your favorite gaming moment from yourself, by the way, ever, uh, in the comments down below for a chance to win Dragon's Dogma 2. Uh, without further ado, I love you guys. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.